guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're going to be touring the island of Quackville. Quackville is a natural duck-ish core island by my good friend Sammy, also a moderator on my channel. And she has a channel of her own, which I will be linking down in the description below, as well as her Instagram, which I'll be linking with her dream address. So that's enough about that. Let's get started. So here we are at the entrance, which is beautiful and full of ducks. All of the duck vibes here with some beautiful natural terraforming. Speaking of ducks, let's look at who's on the map. So we have Weber, Freckles, Molly, Huck. This is what I meant by ish. Huck's a duck, right? Duck, Huck, they kind of rhyme. He's cosplaying as a duck. Huck was her campsite villager that she could quite never get rid of. So this is Pate, Derwin, Bill, Ketchup, Scoot, and Joey. A bunch of cuties for sure. Gotta love them. We have a villager house right at the entrance. Super beautiful. I love the way this looks. The terraforming on this island is gorgeous. We have a cute little reading nook right over here. Super cute. And of course, lots of ducks. There's a diagonal bridge that's gonna lead you to resident services over here, which is really pretty and surrounded by kind of nature, except for this one little area right here where you have a concession stand, and I guess you can kind of throw your trash out. So that is where the boat comes to take the trash down to the natural waste or the waste area. What is it, the landfill? Yeah, yeah. So that is where the truck comes to pick up the trash to take to the landfill. And here we have Sammy's house. Her house is not decorated on the inside, so we're not gonna go in, but it is super cute and decorated outside. Beautiful terraforming, of course, as usual. And then if we make our way to the right of the Nook's Cranny, we do have a cute little creek right here with ducks in it. And look how pretty this river mouth is, you guys. If you need inspiration for your river mouths and incorporating them into your natural islands, here you go, my friends. So good, always. And then our Nook's Cranny has a little cafe outside, super cute, where you can stop and have a little snack, if you will. So we're gonna take the incline behind resident services. This incline leads over here to a little coffee truck. The coffee truck is super cute and of course there's some beautiful nature right next to and behind the coffee truck and the Able Sisters. So the Able Sisters has a little refreshment area outside, really, really cute. She's very smart. She covered the window because you know sometimes when you save your dream address, the outfit that saves is not a vibe at all. I love the custom designs used on the delivery containers. Those are also really cute. And then if we make our way down this incline, we have a cute little hop hop area that's gonna lead us to the museum. This little natural area is particularly beautiful as well. And look at our good friend Huck cosplaying as a duck. Gotta love that. Super cute. The museum is very pretty and naturally decorated, of course. And then we have this cute little seating area right here. Over here on the peninsula, there's a nice little area to sit and have a snack and maybe do a little bit of fishing, super cute. And then we have a picnic area right over here with the cutest little rug you ever did see. I love to see things like that on these islands. The rest was wisely blocked off with nature so you can't really see what's in front of it so as not to ruin the majestic view on the other side of the river mouth. So. I'm gonna make my way back and I'll meet you up top. Okay, so here we are again and we have this wonderful well. I always feel like there's no bottom to that well. Like if you fall in, you're just gonna fall for the rest of your life. There's like no end to it. And here we have Ketchup's house and Ketchup has a cute little vegetable garden. And look at the area around Ketchup's house. So beautiful with the terraforming. Stunning. Look at that. This is so pretty. Such an amazing view. I love it so much. It's so good. I'm going to go through this open gate right here and we have a diagonal garden 
or a diagonal meadow and a little bit of an apiary right here, which is super cute. All of the bug models and the beautiful flowers, the white cosmos, the orange hyacinths and the green mums, which are you'll find throughout the island as the color scheme is so pretty. I love these little dropped flowers and we have freckles right there who is super adorable. And here we have the most majestic view on the island. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Check this out. She made a beautiful lake on the island and the view on the other side is serene and majestic and I love that. It looks so, so pretty. If you're looking for lake inspiration for your own island, look no further. She has your back right here. So continuing along, I'm actually gonna go to the back first, and I think we're gonna enter frog country here. This is where ducks and frogs live happily together. We have the Kiropi snacks as a little nod to Huck back here, and the Kiropi lanterns, which I really do love so much. There's a little pond right there, a little froggy pond instead of a ducky pond, and it's super, super cute over there with the little Kiropi snacks. And Huck's house right over here is sitting oh so perfectly in this area. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have another little duck house right over here. And Derwin! Derwin is such a cutie. I love him. If we continue going this way, there's going to be an incline right here. And we have a little camping area on the beach. I love this little rug coat. It's super cute. Really, really nice to look at. And then if you continue along over here, there's a little path to the actual island campsite, which looks so nice right here against the back of the island. Such a great backdrop on the beach for it. I actually have never done a campsite on the beach before, and I really want to after seeing all of her beach campsites and all of her campsite ideas. It's something I really kind of want to tackle at some point now. So inspiring. So we're going to go up this incline right here. Super cute and to the rare bookstore. The bookstore, of course, belongs to someone who is blue. I think this is Derwin's house. Super cute with all of the little books over here and all of the shelves and a little doggo in the front. I love that. The tiny library is still one of my favorite items in the game. I love it so much. And then we have some little boxes and packaging in case you wanna mail anything off over here. And then just some ducks hanging out on the street corner. No big deal. You see it every day, right? We have another villager house right here, which is such a pretty little picture. I love it so much, it's super cute. And then over here, we have a ducky teddy bear picnic. Oh my gosh, they look so cute together. Look at them, ready to share some pizza. It's a little pizza party over there. And if we move it along to the right, we're gonna come to this cute little soccer field. We've got some ducks playing soccer over here. Super fun with the dog being a little audience and cheering for his favorite team. I'm not sure who he's cheering for, either the Mallard or the Mallard, but either way, I hope his team wins. Super adorable, I love him. And then if we come up here, there is another villager house. This time they've got some really wet laundry. They really didn't wring that out because that is a large puddle underneath there. Super cute. I love the terraforming it is very beautiful. And this house actually fits so perfect with the background. It is gorgeous. If we continue along this way, we're gonna come to another villager's house. I'm not sure exactly whose house this is, but Look at the waterfall and the area. It's so pretty. It's like a little workshop on the island. So whoever this duck is, is a little carpenter and that's super cute. Maybe he's a bicycle repair shop. That seems like a good job for him. Look at all of the little bikes there parked. Super cute. And then of course, we're still waiting for the island trash pickup over here to come and do their jobs. He has a little fishing area over here, super cute, and we're actually right next to Resident Services on the left-hand side. Just for context. 
So after spending five minutes trying to find my way off of that area, I realized that it is a one-way street. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and make my way off of here and I will get back to you in just a moment. So we're gonna take the beach this way. We just have a really beautiful natural beach and I love that the rock spawned right here. I've never seen a rock spawn in that area and these plumeria bushes are beautiful on this island. Super perfect and I love that there's different colored ducks ducks on the beach that actually looks so good and then over here we have another villager house and the terraforming is stunning we have another beautiful waterfall right here which i absolutely love and in the front we have a little volleyball game going on with the little ducks i love to see things like this this is so cute and then we have a little boat and a little seating area so you can just come and relax and read a book by the beach, which is a perfect thing to do. I love the way the plant partition sits behind that couch right there. It just looks so pretty. And then let's make our way this way because it looks like there's a little hop hop right here. And look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Wow. Okay, I can do this. No, I can't. Gotta go the other way. This way. Um, this way? Hello. Okay, so we've made our way to the very front of the beach over here. We have another little picnic area over here on the beach with a little puppy guarding some french fries and pretzels. Gotta love a good carb party. That seems like the most fun ever. And we are already back at the entrance. Oh my gosh. I feel like I just started this tour. Okay, friends, this is where I'm going to leave you on this beautiful island. If you would like to come and see this island for yourself, the dream address will be in the description below. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you so much. I know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to spend a little bit of your time here with me and I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you also to Sammy for letting me tour your island. Okay, yeah, now for real. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. I... Mm.